All right, in today's video, we are diving into a topic that I know so many of you are eager to learn about, and it's how to make a narcissist lose it in court. Yes, that's right. everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Rebecca Zung and I'm a globally recognized attorney and narcissist negotiation expert and I'm here to help you take back your power against narcissists whether it's in a business setting, a divorce setting, whatever setting it is, maybe it's your family member, who knows, but I'm here to help you take back your power in any setting against narcissists. So if you're new here, I invite you to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'm helping you. I'm so glad that you are here. I have been an attorney for more than 20 years. Yes, I did start when I was three, mm -hmm. but I've done many, many, many trials, many motions, been, you know, I've been in court lots and lots of times. I talk about it a lot in my book, Slay the Bully, How to Negotiate with a Narcissist and Win. Um, hopefully you guys have gotten a copy of that. And we're going to be talking about the psychological triggers, the different types of tactics that you can use to kind of push that narcissist buttons and reveal their true colors in front of a judge. So there's some strategies that you can use to kind of turn the tables and get judge to see who they really are, give you that upper hand in a case. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing you really need to know is what is going to set that narcissist off? What is a narcissist trigger? So remember, that with a narcissist, it's all about image. It's all about what they look like, right? It's all about maintaining that perfect, beautiful narcissistic supply. It's that reputation. How do they look to the world? What can you do to get some cracks in that facade? So, you know, you really should be starting that early on, be long before you get in front of the courtroom. And that's what I teach people how to do through my SLAY method, which stands for strategy, leverage, anticipate, and you. So getting that leverage prepared ahead of time to expose them will really, really help when you get to that cross-examination, when it's time to uncover what it is that they have on the stand because their attorney is going to do direct examination of them. And so they'll sit there and say, I was perfect and I was wonderful and I did all these great things. And so what you want to be able to do is direct um, on cross-examination, be able to pick apart the things that they're going to say. So you want to be able to anticipate the things that they're going to say. So you want to be able to have summaries of their inconsistencies, summaries of their lies, summaries of the things that they've done, the things that they've said. You want to be able to challenge the lies. You want to be ready with that. And the more that you can do that, the better it is. Okay. So you want to be having as many exhibits as you possibly can to expose them, expose their lies, expose who they truly are so that when they go to get them on that stand, they can lead them to act impulsively and beat them and trigger them. Imagine how powerful it is to show them, oh, look at, look at here. Oh, here. You said this here, you did this here, you did this here. And then boom, 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 boom. That's what causes them to lose control at critical moments. Then we go to the strategic questioning. The way you frame your questions makes a world of difference. Because if you can ask questions that forces the narcissist to contradict them, to contradict themselves or highlights inconsistencies in their stories, that's when they start to get irritated. And especially if whoever is doing the questioning, whether it's you, hopefully it's not you, hopefully it's your attorney or whoever, stays calm, stays here. That's when they start to get angry. They start to get agitated. So let's say you ask them about a specific event where their story has shifted over time, where they're lying. Oh, you said this. I remember specifically, we asked a wife about whether or not she had ever filed domestic violence charges against any other spouse in the past. And she said, no, she had it. Well, we pulled up something right from the records 
in that same county where she had filed domestic violence charges against her former husband, very easily, calmly, methodically pressing them on these details. You put them on the defensive and pushes them closer to an outburst. Remember, a narcissist hates to be exposed. And so when you can show them, you know, you said this under oath over here, you said that you're saying this under oath over here, that's when their lies start unraveling. And that's when they sh start reacting in a way that shows their true nature. Does this make sense? It's so sweet to see. So sweet to see. Right. And you, if you think it is so sweet to see, put sweet in the comments below. It's all karma. Karma. Karma never forgets. That she never forgets. If you are dealing with a narcissist in a negotiation setting, I want you to grab my free Crush My Negotiation Prep Playbook at winmynegotiation.com. It's packed with tools and tips to help you prepare. If you are dealing with a narcissist, you need it, okay? And join my free private Facebook group too, Narcissist Negotiators with Rebecca Zong, and you can connect with others who are dealing with similar challenges. The next thing is using silence as a weapon. Another really powerful tactic is just to ask a question. It's a yes or no question, and then just sit back and ask a question, just pause. Or just when they respond, just stare at them and go, Mm, like, okay, I know that you're lying. Like if they're rambling, they're saying something that's incriminating, you just let them go because you just know that it. everybody knows that it's a crazy, chaotic thing and you just let them go. You just let them ramble. You just let it go. Nonverbal communication is another area where you can subtly provoke a narcissist, maintaining eye contact, I've been very good about doing that strong, maintaining eye contact, being powerful, showing confidence with your poise, your posture, subtle facial expressions, just enough to unsettle them, looking at them through glasses or through your paperwork. Hmm, I see. Okay. They're hyper aware of how they are perceived when they feel like they're not in control of the narrative they start to lose it. I've seen them go crazy where the judge is like, excuse me, Mr. So-and-so, you're going to have to get control of yourself. And when that happens, guess what? Document the outburst. It's so crucial to document the outburst. I've seen situations where they've lost hearings. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you are taking my child or whatever. When that happens and they break down in the courtroom, make sure you document it because maybe the judge isn't even there at that point because they lost the hearing and the judge is back in chambers. Make sure you document that because you want to capture that moment and write it down so that it's pivotal to show for next time, for the true nature of that person, it helps to sway. Well, and if it happens right in front of the judges, great, fantastic. And that's why I say to make sure to do video depositions if you can afford it as well, because it'll show that narcissist's true nature if you can get that on video for sure. So if you found these strategies helpful, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you share it with anybody else that needs it and drop a comment below. I would love to know what stories you've had in a court situation. Dealing with a narcissist in court is never fun. It's never easy. The best way to deal with it is not to even get to that situation. If you can get that case resolved beforehand, that's even better. That's why I provide powerful strategies to lock them in before you get to that situation, which you definitely can do. Make sure to watch my next video which is the truth revealed, how attorneys actually prove narcissist abuse in court. Really, really important. I dive deeper into courtroom tactics that can expose the narcissist for who they truly are. And remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell before you go so you can arm yourself with knowledge and strategies you need to win. Remember that today's a great day to start negotiating your best life. You got this. I'm Rebecca Zung, and I will see you in that next video. Shopify helps millions sell billions around the world through their digital courses 
through their digital products at the touch of a button on their smartphones, on social media, however they want, including me at shop.rebeccazung.com. You can access your store from all over the world, just the touch of a button from your smartphones, start accepting payments, everything you need to sell online, manage orders and develop relationships in one place and look fabulous doing it. Shopify is the commerce platform that is revolutionizing millions of businesses worldwide, including my own at shop.rebeccazung.com. So right now, what you need to do is sign up for a $1 a month trial period at shopify.com slash best life. All lowercase, go to shopify.com slash best life to take your retail business to the next level today. Shopify.com slash best life.